maybe uh, stretch the hammy a little bit there exactly. in the first half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little stretch. Uh, I feel all right, though. I'll be good for next week. What does it feel like to come in and, and make, for the first-team offense to shut this offense – or defense to shut this offense down as long as you did? Uh, I mean, it's huge for us. It just shows that the kind of discipline we had in the great week of practice we had, and it really showed on the field. So, yeah. Their opening drive – you guys kept them out of the end zone, of course, but they did move the ball and they kept it for about eight minutes or so. Was that a little bit of an eye-opening thing for you guys on defense? Absolutely. They did some new stuff that we hadn't seen before, and uh, it worked. But I feel like once we settled in, we really showed what we were about and, you know what I'm saying, drives after that went well. Guys up front seemed like um, as the game wore on, they really started dominating the offensive line and pushing that line back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think the dominance of our defensive line really started to show towards the uh, – the later parts of the game, and I feel like just people getting tired, and our defense is really stepping up. And I feel like you saw that. What's going on in that huddle early on when they're moving the ball? But you know, are you guys staying calm, even though they're doing stuff you guys haven't seen yet, or or what? What brings you back to, to clamp down and keep them out of the end zone? Yeah, we're trying to stay calm. Uh, our word was kind of poised for this game, and just they're going to make plays. They're always going to make plays, but just to settle in and know that uh, you know, what I'm saying even if they make plays, we'll stop them. You know, bend don't break. So uh, just being poised throughout the game and poised through that. that first uh that first drive what's it like in the defensive huddle or defensive sideline when one of you guys scored a touchdown uh jacked up man it's not it's rare that the defense gets to uh score so whenever anybody gets to the end zone you know what I'm saying we're hyped up for our boy and uh we're real happy for him did cleveland have much to say after getting that score oh yeah you gotta talk to him about that but he's excited about that one uh we all had him on the head and stuff but uh, it was awesome play do you feel like that one play just changed the entire complexion of the game I think it got us started. Uh, I feel like in either way we're going to have a good game. And um, I feel like that play really uh, kind of jump-started our offense and our defense. How, how pleased were you with the way the linebackers play without your leader, Kendall Joseph? I think we played well. Uh, I think the practice we had the whole, the whole week really showed. I think everybody uh, has had reps. And so that even though Kendall wasn't playing, we're kind of comfortable out there just because we've taken reps with and without him and stuff like that. So uh, I don't think anybody missed a step. Is there a feeling of like you exhale now after you finish with Georgia Tech because you don't have to mess with that offense uh, the rest of the year probably? Uh, the option offense is always hard. So uh, it's nice to get through these three games and get three Ws. So uh, there's definitely a little bit of exhale, but you got to kind of um, just because it's different this week. Syracuse is literally the polar opposite of Georgia Tech. So there's just another uh, stress of this week. So you can't really exhale too much. When they were moving the ball pretty well in the first drive, what's kind of going through your mind? What did you feel like you guys were you know, not doing well that was maybe causing some of that? Uh, they did a little bit of new stuff, but uh, throughout our mind the whole time, the whole time we're just thinking, stay poised, you know what I'm saying? Be calm, you know, settle in and uh, we'll get it done. And we did. Looking ahead to, to Syracuse, is that one you're kind of looking forward to a little bit? Uh, absolutely, you know what I'm saying, because it's the next one. It's the biggest game because uh, it's the next one. So, yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs>